left uh, home uh, when I was in my 13th year, 1939. Um, I went, came to England on the kinder transport. I was born in a place called Lurton in East Prussia. The building was a converted stable made into four flats. Um, the, the, we had two rooms and the toilet was outside uh, next to a dung heap because it was a farm. At the start, I had an ordinary uh, upbringing. Uh, it's only when Hitler came into power and he made rules, uh, and none of, them, none of them were in favor of the Jews. Jewish children can only go to school in a Jewish school. And since the school that we went to was a German, a German school, Adolf Hitler, Schule. One day we went to school and the next day that was it, we were barred from the school. I was nine years old and that was the end of my schooling. We, we were not allowed to go into the park, we were not allowed to go uh, to a cinema, we were not allowed to uh, enter certain shops. They burned the, our synagogue. They burned the synagogue. Uh, the synagogue was, was next to um, uh, a house. Now they made sure that the, that house was not um, was only only about a foot away. Uh, that house was never damaged, but the synagogue was burned down to the ground. There was a Jewish girl who, whose boyfriend was in the in the, uh, in the SS. And he told her they would all get shot. Stood against the wall and get shot. And when my parents heard about this, um, and this girl, uh, she told everybody, get out of the country. So it was about September, uh, September, October, 1938. On this particular night, we'd gone to bed as usual. Uh, when we were woke up by a terrific bang on the front door. These two Gestapo men marched into our flat and told my father to get up, march now, march now, which means be quick, be quick. He had to get up, get dressed, and they marched them out of the flat. When, when he left, we didn't know what was, what it was all about. My mother had looked out of the window to find out what happened to him? She went to all the Jewish, house, Jewish homes. Uh, there was only about six families in the town. And uh, she found out, she discovered that every Jewish man had been arrested in the town. She was actually held in the, in the holding cell. The only crime he committed is that of being a Jew. That's when my, my parents started making inquiries. They'd been in touch with a family in, in, uh, in England and they finally persuaded them to take us in and they uh, put our names down for the kinder transport. We stayed a night in Königsberg picking up other children. Uh, went across to Berlin and stayed another night in Berlin, picked up more children. Went on to Hamburg where we caught the boat uh, and came to England. You have a sort of numbness. Um, you know that you're leaving your parents behind. You don't know what you're able to see them again. You hope that they will. There's a sadness that goes with it. It goes without saying. Uh, but at the same time, um, the numbness is overcome by the sadness. And they never got out, they never survived. It was frightening because you don't know what you're going into. And you were always going to family, relatives, who my parents never met. I didn't. Uh, uh, I expected good things, which I'm sorry to say I didn't get. I went to people 
to family who didn't want us and treated us accordingly. They made it very hard for us. Very, very hard. 1939 was a very hard winter. And I was still wearing my sandals. Um, uh, short socks and a cotton, a cotton uh, jacket. Uh, as a result, I got chill blinds. Because also that winter, I could never go out because I couldn't walk. Nobody should be torn from, from what they know, from, the, from, from what you've known, what, what your home. Nobody should be, be forced to leave what you've known all your life.